On today's episode of Warehouse Safety Tips, we're going to be talking about making way for safety. So stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the vodcast. As with many of the topics that we use for this podcast, I take from real life for many of the things that we talk about. Today, we had some carpets being cleaned, and also, while I was doing that, I was listening to the radio. Now, when the carpets were being cleaned, we decided that we were going to go ahead and remove everything from the two rooms that we were having done. Now, you don't realize just how much space that you have when you move all the stuff out of the rooms. And then the other thing is, you start to wonder what you really want to put back and how you want to do it. Now, while I was doing that, like I said, I was listening to the radio while they cleaned. And one of the things that they were talking about is how millennials are wanting new things from their employers and the changes that facilities and employees are having to make in order to uh, compensate for those, those requests. Now, those two things led me to think about this. Are you in a place that always says things like, you know, it's the way we've always done it, or there's really no easier way to do it, or whatever the statement is. If you're following a 5S methodology, then you should constantly be looking for ways to make things safer, more productive, and just make ease of use in general an easier thing to do. So if you have that constant and never ending improvement mindset, then think about this. We know you can't move machinery and you can't move general areas like you can't move a loading dock or stuff like that, but you can make your areas absolutely hum and make them to where they are absolutely as efficient as safe and as you know productivity minded as possible and if you do that you're going to be well on your way to success and exactly what we look for with this podcast and that is keeping things safe productive and just overall making your facility as we mentioned uh you know better every day so we appreciate you being here for another episode of warehouse safety tips and now a word from one of our sponsors you want an organized workspace. You want a safe and efficient way to lay out your shop or warehouse. But it takes forever to mask and paint the floor lines, only to watch them fade and smear and have to do it all over again. The solution? Mighty Line Tape. Mighty Line Floor Tape is simply the most durable floor tape available. It's seven times thicker than most other floor tapes. It's beveled on the edges so it can handle an army of forklifts. And it comes up anytime with no scraping and no residue. Why mess with the mess and the fumes of floor paint when Mighty Line has the rolls, shapes, colors, and signs that fall right in line with 5S standards? There's a place for everything, and everything has its place. That's why we're here. There's only one American made Mighty Line tape, the only durable stripe. You can find the show notes to each episode, links to information mentioned on the vodcast, the social media platforms we're on, and anything else related to the vodcast at warehousesafetytips.com. And if you want to catch our podcast and or request a sample pack of Mighty Line, visit mightylinetape.com forward slash safety tips. Thank you for watching Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.